So yesterday I published this post about the Devin Ford controversy, about how his terrible, no good, awful lack of rep range of motion and standards and his 19.3 video caused this massive outrage within our community. An outrage which I think is very well deserved, however misdirected. Because this Devin Ford situation, this is an embodiment of a much bigger problem. A problem that goes beyond whether or not Devin Ford was actively trying to cheat the system because to me that's a secondary question and focusing all of our energies just on him is not going to get us anywhere. Where we should be focusing our energies is the actual cause of the problem itself and that is HQ's video review system. So since I posted that video yesterday, I have had dozens of conversations with games athletes, affiliate owners, you know, crossfitters all over the world. I've seen hundreds of comments across YouTube and Instagram, and I love that we have this conversation rolling and we have this momentum right now, and I think this is a perfect time because what I'm seeing with many of these comments and many of these interactions is truly a well-deserved anger at Devin Ford and his standards, his movements, his potential qualification for the 2019 CrossFit Games. But if we put that aside, I think it's a little short-sighted to be focusing just on the man himself, just on that one video, just on his potential qualification, because he is just an example, an embodiment of a problem that is much more prevalent in this CrossFit game system, and that's the issue with the lack of consistency and transparency in the video review process that HQ themselves have implemented for the open. And in so many of these conversations, people were really giving me great examples of, of how integrity should be present within the athletes and how the video review system should be working. And the most common one was Jacob Hefner's 19.3. So if you remember Jacob Hefner's 19.3 score, it was number one worldwide until the video review process found that his feet came down during his handstand walk before both of his hands crossed the line, which means he got one hand across the line and then his feet came down and they were like, ding, found it, that doesn't count, sorry, you can't win a workout with handstand push-ups, Jacob, that'll just prove your point that the old handstand push-up standard was garbage. Neither here nor there. The point is, they singled out one very specific issue that didn't meet the standards and assessed a penalty, that's that. Now, we have this video from Devin Ford, a video which I pointed out yesterday, has so many issues with it that there are many different parts that could warrant major penalties in and of themselves. And the question that I think people are getting caught up in is, what is it about this video? People are letting this video go. How could it be possible that this guy pulled a fast one on us? And the question we should be asking is, how is it that the same video review system caught Jacob Hefner's tiny little hand not crossing the line before his feet came down, but allowed all the issues that Devin Ford's video clearly showcased. And now we have this wacky little contradiction coming out of CrossFit HQ that their video review system can both be this surgical fine tooth comb in order to ensure that the standards are being held and everyone is meeting the rules of these workouts. And at the same time, through their own mouth, they're announcing that this dude's workout is just fine, except for missing some reps. And that, that's where I think the rub is. So now we have this giant community of people who are angry and enthusiastic and outraged and excited about being able to potentially ensure the integrity of the CrossFit Games and make sure that that integrity remains intact. And I 100% agree with that sentiment. I think that's a really important thing to do. And a lot of that integrity comes from the system itself. Is the system transparent? Is it consistent? Can we point at the mechanisms in place that keep us moving in the right direction for the right reasons? And right now the answer to those things is no. And the best example of why the answer is no is Devin Ford's video. A lot of people have been asking for Devin Ford to withdraw, to actually decline his qualification for the CrossFit Games. And imagine for a second that actually happens. What we end up seeing is a guy who probably shouldn't have been at the CrossFit Games not going to the CrossFit Games anyway. Okay, that's fine. 
But what happens to the system? The system remains untrustworthy. It remains opaque. It remains inconsistent. What we should be asking for is not necessarily action from Devin Ford. And you know, that could be good if it does happen. What we should be asking for is action from CrossFit HQ. They need to open up this system to show us, the spectators, the fans, as well as the athletes, the top end athletes who, is, who are actually being affected by these decisions, that it's not going to be brushed under the rug. It's not going to be rewarded for athletes to cut corners. I think at the end of the day, folks, we're all kind of on the same side. I, I had lots of people disagreeing with my take in my last video. And I, I 100%, I respect it. I love it. I want the conversation to keep going. I love the fact that there's a little bit of a back and forth in this. But I think, again, like I said, we're all on the same side. We're kind of looking at it maybe from different angles. Like some people see it in one way, some people see it in another way, but we're all focused on the same thing. We're all focused on the integrity of CrossFit as a sport. We're focused on making sure the right people get to the CrossFit Games through the right channels, that the methodology that we are all subscribed to, that we're all fired up about, actually executes itself successfully within the system that it's been designed to execute itself in, right? And at the end of the day, people are kind of running it into this sort of cognitive dissonance. HQ has given us a piece of information. Hey, this dude didn't do 10 of the 50 reps in this handstand push-up workout, but no big deal, we docked a major penalty, he's good to go. And then when we watch the video, it doesn't pass the smell test. It just doesn't feel right. And I think people are focusing on the fact that that video doesn't feel right. And I agree with that. But we should also be looking at the fact that the way that we were presented this information and how it was targeted and how it was very, very opaque, very closed off, inconsistent with previous decisions, that, that does not pass the smell test. Like I said, I'm super pumped about all the conversations that this has started. I've talked to a lot of people. I've, I've tried to interact with a lot of different comments on Instagram and YouTube. And you know, it's, it is a little stressful because I really love that engagement. I love that dialogue, like, you know, coming together with somebody, talking to them, seeing where their point is, where my point is and seeing perhaps maybe there's a consensus. Maybe there's a lot more overlap than either of us could assume at the beginning with. And that, that is exactly what I'm here for. I, I started this channel, like I said almost a year ago because I know that there are these conversations taking place in every gym across the world and I am here to both participate in and contribute to those conversations and I cannot thank you guys enough for actually engaging with me in a way that allows us to do that together. And looking ahead into the next like four or five weeks, this is really the meat of the sanctional season. We have half a dozen sanctionals taking place all over the world. And I'm actually lucky enough where next week I will be in Iceland for the Reykjavik CrossFit Championship. So expect to see some really cool content come out of there. And the weekend after that, I'm going back up to HQ for another set of interviews, another set of the MDL1 and the Derelict Doctors Club and the whole CrossFit Health thing, which I'm really looking forward to kind of seeing what they've done since the last time I was there, maybe six or seven months ago, and hopefully being able to get some FaceTime with some people who maybe have not given a lot of interviews recently. You never know. Thank you so much, folks. I'll see you guys next time. I have had a lot of coffee. It is, uh, oh God, so concentrated, so cold brew, so caffeinated. Whoo.